Good evening. Hello. We are back to pick up after some pretty uh, eventful sessions. It is going to be two days after uh, after the boys disappeared into the pyramids. Uh, it's going to be Saturday, the 25th of April, when um, they stumble back into the hotel room. Just a little bit of bookkeeping. Last week, we rolled up the armor that James got from the spell that was cast on him by Dr. Ali Kafour. You got yep. 18 points of armor. Uh, yep. I also went ahead and applied the Cthulhu Mythos boosts that Yins would have gotten from the, uh, both from going mad and from seeing the Black Sphinx. So Connor, Jean, and Theodore all jumped by six points in Cthulhu Mythos. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Connor's, that Connor knows a lot about the mythos now. <laughs> How much do you know? Uh, 23. <laughs> I think, what is that? That's more than uh, Victor, right? A lot more than Victor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Why don't we go ahead and have Joey start tonight? All right. Actually, no. I am only one point higher than Victor. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hi. I am Joey. I am playing Connor Leon, and I am in trouble. <laughs> and then Terry. Hi, I'm Terry. I play as James. I'm the nerd medic. And uh, the only one that was lucky enough to not have anything too eventful happen when he went on his solo adventure. <laughs> and Bry. I'm Bry. I'm playing Bernadette Brandt. And I am about to raise hell. <laughs> we can get right to that then. Uh, after. After the three of you woke up in the desert and were, you know, you spent some time walking across the dunes and then were rescued by some people who were actually out looking for you, you found you weren't all that far from the pyramids. It was maybe a couple miles. But you would probably not have found your way back there without assistance. So it's only going to be somewhere around midday when you are able to get back to the hotel. You've been given water and some food on the way, but pretty sure you're still exhausted and sore. What time of the day did you say it was? About midday, a little before noon. Then I guess uh, if we're not doing anything, I'm going to say James is probably making some food. Okay. Trying to decide. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna roll to see which it is. One to two. Birdie has drunk herself into a stupor and is just sitting on the couch. Three to four. She is pacing back and forth and is going to round on them the moment they get in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she is pacing back and forth muttering under her breath very concerned alright the door opens uh, Joey you're the only one whose primary character is in this group are you going to be at the front or the mm. back of the group when you come in <sighs> Connor's going to be in the front Okay. so Connor walks in Birdie hears the door open I thought I told you folks to... Connor? Hi, <laughs> Birdie. Don't you hire Birdie me. Where in the Sam hell have you been? 
Oh, lost to the desert. Uh, lo lo lost in the desert, uh, weird staircase leading down into a deep tunnel system. Uh, Sit down. you were next to the... <laughs> yes, ma'am. Cutter, Cutter trying to joke and to, to explain what's happened. She Instantly walks gets shut out down. of the room into where James is cooking. <laughs> Stab back. I will. Uh, I could. I could tell. Uh, here, hand hand them some food. They're probably hungry. I'd like to uh, hear some more about what they have found. And maybe also hear you yell at them. I'm <laughs> most likely gonna hear you yell at them. Don't make me yell at you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the food and walk it into the other room and set it down on the table. Eat. Yeah. Yeah, he's... He is gonna dive right in. Yeah, I'm sure that this is refreshing. You, um... Uh, oh, yeah. You spent you a day eating, without uh... eating. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna just say it. Connor's not really hiding the fact that his knuckles are like cracked open and bloodied. Mm -hmm. And he is like Yeah. Like he, he's he's not doing so hot. Uh, in between bites he kind of explains. So it's uh, pretty obvious we failed. Pretty obvious, yeah. I'd say so. He, he kind of plops backwards into the couch and says, Okay. So. We got to see, uh... <clears throat> James's father. Mm-hmm. Uh... The apple fell very far from the tree. Uh, the their uh, the ritual they it wasn't anything like any ritual I've ever seen. They just were killing each other. There was no rhyme or reason. There was some ceremony to it. And the people that were being killed were volunteering. Either mm -hmm. uh, And before we could even do anything to stop it, like, um, the, uh, Connor, Connor would recognize the monster that appeared, correct? Uh, well, you, what you saw looked a lot like the statue of the Sphinx. And, uh, something that I would consider to be a Sphinx came to be. <coughs> and, uh, Jean after will that, say, everything... It came up out of that pit. I have not seen anything like it either. The the branch that I was involved in in England, they had, there was an element of pleasure to their rituals. And here it seems it was just violence. Are the other two as beat up as Connor is? No. <laughs> Everybody's taking some hits, but Connor's the only one who looks like he's been... He was busting heads all night long. So, he's got... He's got bruises on his face and his body, but his knuckles look... Like, I, I have the feeling that he's got that full hand trimmer going on. That 
that fighters get after big fights. And yeah. Like the 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 focus is also gone in his eyes. And uh he's going to continue explaining that um the place didn't make sense. The tunnels wound in and around themselves. It felt like the tunnels were breathing. The walls were flesh. <coughs> the stair and there was a pit and a staircase that seemed to go down forever. And we saw the, uh, uh, James's father, and he was in charge of the ceremony. And once the Sphinx came from the depths, uh, I don't remember what happened after that. I just remember being in the desert today and we ended up having to find our way back back home so no explanation for why you look like this I remember uh, fighting I think Theodore's going to look away when you're saying this. So what, you were caught? No, they would have killed us if we were caught. It's either that or that we somehow managed to fight off the hundreds of them. Oh my god, the hunt there were so many down there. I was expecting another tongue of the of the bloody tongue or just but there were so many more than we've ever seen. I thought I, I, I thought that priest was exaggerating whenever he said that there were so many of them but he was underselling it we could barely fit into that massive chamber and um, uh, I would be shocked to, to know that half of them survived finish the job they did. <sighs> finish eating. James, would you be so kind as to patch him up? Uh, on that note, James did round the corner with another plate of food. Mm -hmm. Some uh, cups and a uh, jug of water. A pitcher, there we go. A pitcher of water. Yeah. And we'll place it on the table and say, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Gunner has a hard time looking at James. That way he'll actually be in his right mind and be able to feel it when I kick his ass. <laughs> Please do not hurt my patient. Oh, not until he's not your patient anymore. He's not actually missing hit points, so you don't need to roll anything. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any hit points. Like, I, I, I am a champion. It's alright, I will uh, make sure I clean up his knuckles. Yeah. It's gonna burn. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Just pull like, out some of the shining... Yeah, anything that's 90 proof. Perfect for disinfecting wounds. As long as there's not much sugar. Then it'd be like a little bit of bandaging. Mm -hmm. So not only did you fail to stop the ritual, 
you got yourselves involved in something. Did we hear any strange voices this time? Connor is like trying, it's like he's trying to remember a distant memory even though it happened last night. And, or, you know, a, a day or so ago. And he's like, and he'll just say, no, it was nothing like we've ever seen. It was just a violent, violent fight. And then the Sphinx came out. I think it was just a summon of Sphinx. A Sphinx. Or however the hell you pronounce it. Uh, you, you probably have pieced together. They they brought a mummy back to life. Oh yeah. And then the mummy was the one who summoned the Sphinx. That's right. That's yeah. right. And the Sphinx uh, started eating people. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he he like snaps his fingers and says, "No, it wasn't just the summoning of the Sphinx. It was bringing back a mummy." Uh, James will speak. Uh, you're talking about, uh, what was her name? Uh, Queen... Natakris. Thank you. Queen Natakris? I mean, they didn't announce who they were whenever they started throwing spells and the snake started eating people. Was I able to, like, determine the sex of the mummy? Uh, yeah, I think after... I think they started stripping off the bandages and they gave her a dress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the the, the, the mummy was was female. That's, uh, that's probably the missing mummy, then. Bertie's eye just twitches. Kana? Mm -hmm. Would you stand up for a moment, please? Uh, he, with a grunt, he stands up. <laughs> She's gonna punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Just as hard as she can. She's gonna punch him. She's not actually that good with punching, but she's gonna punch him. <coughs> Connor is not gonna dodge. Yeah, he's no not going to dodge or fight back. He's just going to take it. There's no need to roll, then. Uh, you can do your damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, God, I forgot. You have a damage bonus. Because <laughs> you're huge. So it's a D3 plus a D4. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe I should have blocked. <laughs> See, mine says... Oh, that's a TV. Okay. Yep. Jesus Christ. Already knows how to throw her weight around. Right. <clears throat> I'm a lady. I've never been in a fight before. Tell that to my shattered jaw. Six points of damage. God. That's pretty significant. Who are you punching them? Because she is full of rage. <laughs> she is very angry. And she is going to go to the door and she is going to walk out and she's going to go for a walk to calm down. <laughs> Chase, if you'd like, you can roll first aid to heal that. <laughs> uh. What do I gotta roll for healing? Just roll the first aid. Yeah. Connor wobbles, takes a sip of his uh takes a sip of water. There's blood in the water now and he puts the cup down and he sips. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. no fixing that. Nope. Oh, I'm not worth forty eight. You're uh Darn. <laughs> I would assume that he's getting at least a black eye. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There, there's no Another fixing. Black eye. There's no fixing it. 
probably cracked a tooth. Yeah, the oh, best yeah. you can do is grab a steak for him. And while, while uh, you know, James is treating Connor, Connor's going to look at James and say, I don't think your dad is your dad anymore. I, yeah. yeah, I met him. Yeah. I, I saw him. Yeah, I heard, I heard the whole thing. He doesn't... He doesn't seem like the man that would have raised you. So, my theory is something is just pretending to be him. If, uh, you know, the fight didn't break out as soon as it did, I would have decked him one for you. Or shot him, at least. But... I, uh... I think we should go and take the advice of some of our friends here. Yeah. And we, uh... Should leave. I don't think what the um, I don't think the stuff that we need is here anymore. I don't think we can do anything. And everybody I've talked to has said that if we can continue our investigation, our fight somewhere else, help somewhere else, that they will go and try and prolong here as. Uh, what's happening here as long as I can until we come back with the stuff that we need. Or, if at all, until someone else arrives to stop what's going on. Yeah. Birdie's gonna stop back into the room. You left! I told you not to, and you left! <laughs> I did. If it's any, uh, help, I think, uh, he might have learned his lesson with his black eye. Which one? Uh, what? Yeah, because you got about three more coming. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna be real honest, buddy. I don't think I can take three more. Finish the job that damn cult started. And, uh, I guess while everybody's quiet, James will, uh, go and say that he's, uh, had an idea that the missing piece, or second half to, uh, the missing part to the pyramid might not be in Egypt. How do you figure? Just well, clenching and unclenching her knuckles. I know we haven't fully, like, digged too much around, but if some of our friends here have not found out where it is, and we haven't found out anything about where it is, it's probably somewhere else. A lot of the world likes to... What's the right word? Grab stuff that could be considered as artifacts and uh, haul it to other places in the world to go and put in their museums. 
grave robin. The, the term sure, is yeah, that's, grave that's what we can say. Sounds like a plan. But, um, as of right now, I don't think we can really do anything against the Black Pharaoh and his subjects. The cult. Where are we going? We have a couple of different places, as you uh, remember. We have our lead with, um, what was his name? The bodyguard. Uh, <coughs> maybe we should pull up Miro right now. <laughs> Possibly. I think it was Jack Brady. That sounds right. Why can I not uh, find in our chats Mira? I can link it in Discord. Yeah, Jack Brady is the bodyguard. Uh, if you want to continue following the tracks of the Carlisle expedition, the next place they went was Kenya. Um, uh, I will I will mention just the we can either follow the expedition to Kenya or we can go and try and find um, somehow if our Brady or we can try and find Brady. I'd rather avoid encountering any more of the expedition at the moment. Uh, let's let's try Kenya. All right. If that's all right with you. Connor was about to open his mouth and is like, "Wait a second! I'd get yelled at if I say anything right now. I'm just gonna." <laughs> Quiet. She just she just Smile senses that he's going to say something and reaches over and kicks his shin. <laughs> Connor Connor is still remembering that he doesn't get a vote right now. Because <laughs> his last vote ended very poorly for him. <laughs> Every time he votes, he ends up getting in trouble. I could make a terrible joke right now. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the other places you already have clues for are Kenya, Australia, and China. Uh, <coughs> Kenya is obviously absolutely like very close to you right now compared to the other places. Yep. But yeah. there's no reason you can't choose to go somewhere else instead if you want to. Honestly, Kenya seems like our best bet at the moment. Not against it. Is there anything else you want to do while you're still here, then? I would like to inform my friend at the paper um, what you found and what has happened so that he might have a little bit of forewarning. We should inform your friend at the museum. I was about to say I can do that while you go inform uh, the newspaper guy. Connor? Mm -hmm. You are going to sit here. You are going to finish the food that James so kindly made you. And then, if I was you, I would have a nice long nap because we are going to have a conversation. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And while I'm thinking about it, let's see if we can find that uh, gentleman that we met at the... Uh, or that I met, I suppose, at the uh, infirmary and uh, warn him as well. Uh, based on the condition you saw him in, he's almost certainly still at the hospital. Mm-hmm. James, if you don't mind, I think we should probably stick together for this, because things seem to have gotten significantly more dire. And while I would prefer not to let Connor out of my sight at the moment, I trust that uh, he won't be leaving this room while we're gone. He's just, just going to look at him threateningly. Yeah, he just, he just <laughs> nods in agreement. Good. Alright. Chris um, will stay behind. Where are you going first? I'd assume the uh, the museum would be closer. I would say the paper, if only because he is rather skeptical, so it'll take a little bit shorter time to give him the uh, magicless version of the story. Mm. And then we can... Uh, have our existential crises with the friend who actually believes. <laughs> Alright. I'll let you take the lead. Appreciate it. So, newspaper first. Alright. Let me just drop James in here. Yeah, you were here not so long ago. Mm-hmm. Asking for help. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was, in fact, his um, his contacts who found your boys out in the desert. Mm-hmm. So he probably knows that they've already been found. Yep. He will say, yep. how, how are they holding up? They, I heard... They were in pretty rough shape. Well, one of them is in the best shape he's going to be for a while. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't follow you, but he doesn't say anything. 
the ritual they set out to stop did, in fact, not get stopped. Apparently, there was a violent brawl. It does sound like they you specialize in those a bit. I did hear back from some of my contacts in England, and uh, that seems to have been what precipitated your departure from, from my homeland. This one was worse. Uh, my compatriots estimate that at least half of the hundreds of people who were there are deceased. Either killed by them by their own hands, they were volunteering to be sacrificed, or eaten by what they described as a sphinx. Hmm. They also claimed that they uh, had something like a mummy that they were uh, spilling blood on. I assume that this would probably be the missing mummy. Yes, and uh, well, desecration of an ancient corpse sounds like it's the least of their crimes. From their words, it sounds like they managed to bring her back to life. I say... Hmm. Well, that is... I, I, I confess I'm not an expert in cults, but I have picked up a little bit while we've been here, and that is not an unusual parlor trick for, uh, for a cult, for uh, religious leaders to make. No offense, mm -hmm. but if I was you, I'd start getting mighty superstitious. Hmm. We are planning on leaving the country relatively soon. We don't feel that there's much more that we can do here, and the situation is rapidly getting more dangerous. Yes, we're... I assume by the fact that you have them return to you safely that your friends weren't seen. We don't know. If they were, they were let free. It does seem... Probably as maybe a bait. It does seem wise for you to uh, put some distance between yourselves and the danger here. I don't blame you one bit. I would genuinely consider getting a little bit more superstitious. You don't have to believe, but I would consider these things a genuine possibility. Well, I go for to, your own safety. I go to church sometimes. I'm not completely closed-minded to the possibility. But <laughs> I have generally found that um, there's a lot more power in making people think that there's something magical happening than there would be in anything genuinely magical. I'm not here to argue with you. This isn't, uh, I'm not a philosophy professor. And I'm not gonna try to change your mind. I'm just offering some advice. With that, I believe we have a couple more people to go speak with. May I ask, where are you headed? Are I think we've decided home? on Kenya. Hmm. Which I believe means you're still following the parallel expedition. Yes. We are. At least following in their footsteps a little bit. See if you can keep your heads down this time. <laughs> we were trying that this time around. 
you see how well it went. I think went. we were uh, trying that every single time, and uh, it's never worked. Third time's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> this was the third so. time. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, he stands up to shake both of your hands, and he says, "If you learn anything, make sure you keep in touch." I'll do my best. Yes. And uh, just in case you are unable to reach us for updates, this is my uh, personal lawyer's contact information. Very and professional. <laughs> I will. Uh also mention that um, if you do run into anything and you need a professional who understands more uh, Egyptian knowledge I will recommend what was his name? The uh, Dr. Kafour? Yes. He's helped us a little bit. He might be able to help you. All right, that is promising. I, uh, I have heard of the man. Never met him, but uh, if you're recommending him, I, I trust that he's good. Stay safe out there, folks. Yes. You too. It's been a pleasure knowing you. I hope it will continue that way. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna ask you when you get there, you know, just drop him a, send him a telegram, let him know where you're staying so that he has a direct line of communication. All right. But, Will do. Not a whole lot else to say right now. Nope. And we're gone. Where next? Come to the museum. Museum. Uh, mm -hmm. what do you want to do at the museum? I feel like you might have had all of the conversation that there really is to have yesterday. Uh, just well, warning him that they succeeded. Probably just, probably just filling him <laughs> in on uh, what we've now learned. Okay. And so, uh, telling him that like... we did give a another someone else that we also trust uh, a way to con or that if they need more help in their investigation that they can go and talk to you and we'll tell them their name as well. Okay. He is a skeptic, so be patient with him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Dr. Kafour already suspected that this is what had happened, but um, having confirmation is appreciated. Yep. Uh, and giving him the details of what happened so he has some idea of what to expect in the future. And then also uh, informing him that we will be uh, leaving soon. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, he'll tell you that is probably wise. Mm -hmm. uh, he hopes that you... He hopes that Egypt's problems don't follow you. No, we're following them. Uh, and he'll also warn you that the the protection he gave you basically lasts for a day. Yep. Uh, and then he gets a little bit emotional. <laughs> and he's going to... Uh, he, he looks a little awkward. He's not sure. But he goes as if to hug you. I will awkwardly go and hug him back. Okay. Two awkward nerds <laughs> hugging each other. <laughs> Say, uh, thank you for all your help. And hopefully we're able to see each other again. If we all survive this, I may have a place for you here. We'll think about it. Okay. And uh, where's the last place? You go to the Last hospital? place is, yep, to the hospital. Yep. All Just right. to 
stop in, I will stop and just get some like flowers or something, just kind of a get well soon kind of thing for him. That's very kind. <laughs> it's I don't know the guy, so I don't know what he would appreciate the most, but flowers are generally appreciated. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Uh, when you go in, he does look a little healthier. Um, he's had a day and a half to heal up. Mm -hmm. uh, still mm -hmm. not in good shape. Uh, still looks like he's going to be here for a while. But he will... He will look at you blankly for a moment and then say, Ah, the young lady from the other night. Yes, I do apologize for any uh, embarrassing behavior I might have displayed. You were in very high spirits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friend, is he safe? I wouldn't say he's safe, but he's alive and he's with us. Wonderful. <laughs> I wanted oh. to thank you for your help and for speaking with him as long as you did. I am glad that my speaking to him did not lead to tragedy. Hmm. Unfortunately, he was not able to stop what the terrible people who hurt you and your friends were doing. No, I'm afraid that once the girdle was taken, there's not much that could have stopped it. And to try to avoid uh, sticking our feet any further into the mess... We are going to be leaving soon. That, that is wise. I don't think that Egypt is going to be safe for, to be honest, for anyone. This is a charge that has, this is a charge that has been faithfully carried out by my order for hundreds of years, and I have failed. I hope... I don't know what's to come next. Neither do we. But that's not going to stop us from trying to figure out if there's some way for us to come back and help. Just, we can't do anything here at the moment. That is fair. Um. So get well soon. We need reliable folks like you. Because, as you said, I don't think there's much of anything that could have stopped this. And despite what you might think of yourself, you are reliable. You helped us a good deal, despite us not knowing you for too long. Stay safe, all of you. You we too. Need, we need all the good people in the world that we can have. Took the words right out of my mouth. So, is that your last visit? I do I believe, believe it. so. Okay. Um, Probably as we're leaving, we can go and uh, say goodbye to our guide. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on, wait, there is... No, I think... Yeah, we'll just... I think we're good to go. Okay. Of... Yeah, Ibby will be... We'll have him take us to the to to our send off point. Ibi will be sad to see you go. 
but he is also going to be a little relieved because this has been pretty dangerous. This has been wildly dangerous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll tell him to please be safe and take care of his family and uh, be, be ready to vacate if need be. Of the other people you've met in town, uh, Faraz Najjar, who was the uh, the merchant who mm -hmm. gave you information initially, after that attack, he disappeared. As in, he mm -hmm. closed up his shop and left town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Warren Bizart, the guy who was living in the back room of a store. You I'm not worried him. about him. <laughs> I left him in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, probably know where he is, but it doesn't sound like you want to talk to him. And you could try to track down Neris again if you wanted, James. That is the lady who turns into a panther. But it's I up to you. I thought about it. But I think I might try and see if uh, talking to Luna might be able to possibly send them kind of like a message you can, you can try talking to the cat yeah I think I think that's what uh, James will do okay how do you want to travel to Kenya uh, you've got the easy way is you can just hop on a ship you can sail around the coast. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to take somewhere between a week and 12 days. Have a couple layovers and fairly easy time traveling. Or... Or you could go down the Nile. And you could... Track across deserts. And swamps. And the savanna. And have a real adventure. Is there no train option? <laughs> no, there's not a train. No. Duh. I feel sure, certain I know which way you're going to go. <laughs> I can, what I can adventure! I can practically hear Fluffy screaming from the ether. <sighs> well, I don't think he'd want to leave at all. No, he wouldn't. No, not at all. Absolutely not. We've knocked out Victor and are dragging him kicking and screaming <laughs> with us. The least we could do is probably uh, go on an adventure for him. I mean, that would... uh, him, him seeing Connor messed up again, and Connor being like, yeah, Could we he... gotta go. I think he would then go and say, oh no, we're, we're gonna go and do it again, but this time I have a different plan. This time that, we're gonna go harder. 100% what he would say. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna be there, so everything's gonna be better. <laughs> <laughs> everything's gonna go better, specifically for me. You could tell him um, that uh, the plan is to go build up your strength and find new weapons so you can come back and destroy them for good. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll uh, be our plan. I'll take... Uh, frankly, I'm up for more adventure. Now that, uh, that route would take about six months. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep jumping over all of our side quests, but <laughs> yeah, no. This is that would be less of a side quest and more of like an entire campaign. An arc, <laughs> which I'm fine with. We can make up a trek through the desert and everything, but just if you want to. Uh, I I, th I think there's a bit of a sense of urgency here. Yes, yeah, no. Though. At this point, I think we are um, we're looking to move and move quick. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. 
Um, uh, would I be able to take? I just realized that uh, the piece of the pyramid that I have. That is going to be difficult. Or should I go and leave that behind with um, at the you, museum? Leaving it with Doctor Kafour is probably the safest bet. Um, then I will. I would have done that, and I would have told him to keep it safe. All right. Uh, he. Then, before when he's removed stuff from his private vault, he has left you in his office. He's going to take just you with him. Right. And he's going to show you that he actually has uh, some magical wards protecting the place. Nice. And uh, it would be very difficult for someone other than him to even find the vault. Birdie will not take offense. Then that this will be the safest place to keep this and keep it hidden. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm going. This one's going to be another relatively simple uh, journey. I think when you leave Kenya to go to either Australia or China. I'm going to give you a boat adventure. Wee! <laughs> Excellent. But this is a fairly short trek. So, uh, do you continue reading your books? Yes. Do we get to keep the cat with us? Oh yeah, the cat goes with you. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Uh, the oh. officials are very careful about not letting you take artifacts out with you. They do not care about a cat. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can continue reading my book. Like I think I finished it. The book of the Dizian. Book of Dizan. Uh, Zon. you have you have not finished it. Uh, you've got three okay. out of seven weeks done. You know, that m something is telling me me reading and doing more research right now might be a bad thing. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm just, uh, you know, you know, something about the 28 out of 16 daily sanity loss. Oh, that gets reset know? at this point. Okay. So so I won't go absolutely crazy if I lose one sanity point? Okay, I'll, I'll do some research. Let's put it this uh, way. Honor mm -hmm. I will uh, read my other book. If you, um... If you choose to rest and not engage in mythos activity, your indefinite insanity will go away during this time. But if you choose to read the book, you're not going to have, like, nasty bout of madness, but it's going to stay. Ooh, yeah, I should, I should, uh, in instead of read yeah. that, read just anything else instead. <laughs> That's fair. Like, pretend to be reading this book, but it's like the the, the cow that jumped over the moon on the inside. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know, something easy and something that doesn't hurt. <laughs> uh, how many readings out of how many am I on Amongst the Stones and the Narcotic Manuscripts? Uh, you have finished Amongst the Stones. Okay. And Narcotic Manuscripts, you're at 5 out of 20. Okay. Do you want to continue with it? Yeah, I'll go ahead and put in another I'm gonna, week. I'm going to oh. toss three weeks on there. Woo! Yay! Because this is pulp, and we want you to get through these things. <laughs> Whee! Uh, I am removing Connor's indefinite insanity. Uh, and then it was the, uh, the Greek manuscript that I have. Well, the one that was translated from uh, an earlier Greek manuscript. Yeah, uh, that one is in French. Uh, selections de l'Ivere de Rome. I can lock myself in a room <laughs> and only come out to go and eat once in a while. What if I just give you amongst the stones? <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> He has this insane talent, and if he wants to use it, I say, go for it. God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock myself 
in my room, only come out to eat some food, not even talk. All right. And then just continue reading. Roll with a base skill of 75. So just roll a d100 and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, I'm going to temporarily give you French. <laughs> so that I can activate your... Uh, activate the book for you. Uh. At seventy five. Okay. Uh, make your intelligence check. Is that a good thing, bad thing? Well, it means that you retain the knowledge. It's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Uh... Okay. Uh, you are going to have a bout of madness, but you have completed the initial reading of the text. Uh, it is a variation of the Liberi Vonus. The book contains many useful spells and treatises on practical magic. Although his focus is more towards the worship Ooh. of a deity called Sathagua. There are border illustrations of something that looks like an inverted, broken onk. And a discussion concerning the enmity between Pazluza and a deity known as Nodens. Hmm. Uh, you did say that you were locking yourself up. I did. So, uh... I would, uh, I would tell them that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'd tell them to just at least come by to go and give me food, or, uh, I would maybe venture out to go get some food. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it was pretty much just me sitting in my room. Reading. So I think, given that you took that precaution, what we can, what we can surmise here is that your friends realize that something is very wrong, and they're the ones who keep you. Like... <laughs> the door is locked from the outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but by the time you arrive, you'll be, you'll be okay again. Uh, Birdie only con punches Connor a couple more times. You do gain another four Mythos points. Uh, you rolled the worst you possibly could roll on that sanity. Sanity loss. Yeah. It's 2d4. Uh, and you don't know... You don't know what the spells are yet. But you are very aware that unlike most of the books you've found so far, there's a lot of actual magic in here. Hmm. You can decide what you want to do with that. Oh, you gotta make it so you can see. Uh, slowly reading it more and more to go and see if I can learn uh, useful and other variations of uh, magic. I, yeah, I gave you a couple weeks besides the initial reading on there. Yeah. Uh, what else? Okay, you can also 
choose to raise two skills you already know by four each. Or you can learn a new skill. One skill you haven't trained before and you get one d10 plus one in it. That's for everybody. Ooh. If I've learned anything, I need to go and up my stealth. Maybe we should... Maybe... Well, apparently I don't have access to my controls right now. They just disappear sometimes. No! <laughs> there we go. Uh, maybe we should have you do your development phase first. All right. Yay! Uh, unfortunately, you didn't actually succeed in the prior chapter, and you're not getting any of the rewards from it. Reasonable. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna come back. I think. Are we? It could be an interesting climax to the campaign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh... Oh, real quick, uh, can you gold star my brawl check so that I can roll to upgrade that before I... You deserve that. Yeah. We, we, we joked about that being a thing, and... You absolutely deserve it. Okay, it's ready for you. Yeah, okay. Well, I can... Hey! Hey, look, you upgraded it. Psychology went up. Listen, intimidate. It, yeah, I can see it in, in navigation not passing. <laughs> I, I can see navigation because all I did was find my way to a hill like that's uh... not uh, and you can all recover luck points as well yay Fifteen, nice cool alright and what was the upgrading Again, you can either add four to two different skills that you already have, or you can choose a skill you haven't already trained and add one d10 plus one to it. Okay. Mm. Read lips or. How do we add four again? Uh, there's a lock at the upper right part of your skills set. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, two fours, uh, two fours versus one d10. One d10 plus one. And okay. you're adding two fours to skills you already have, or the yeah. one d10 plus one to a skill you don't have. I'm you know, adding... it could be funny, and it could make Egyptian a solid fifty. Good. Yeah. You, you know, we are you know. moving on from Egypt at this point, though, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am half debating on putting a D10 in archaeology just for character development. You did do a lot of archaeology. <laughs> My character mm -hmm. would learn a little bit about that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, like, I'm playing around with that idea. All those times you were sitting in that office bored out of your mind, you picked some stuff up. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or I go into, like, brawl and handguns, that, and that's just boring. <laughs> I'm putting plus four in Intimidate. And plus four in my Psychometry, since, you know, nice. I had that whole thing happen. <laughs> just remember that having a really good success in Psychometry can sometimes not be to your benefit. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have a five in archaeology. I know I know what a sphinx and a mummy is now. <laughs> well, it moves up to six, then. Oh, no, no it does move up to one, five. and I increased it by four, yeah. You're right. So yep. five. Oh, boy. 
Woo! But yeah, no, I'm I'm well aware that having a higher psychometry is probably a bad thing. I'm making this conscious decision. It all it, depends on what you're using it on. Yup. This what, this what is goes? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's some um, uh, uh, Disco Elysium levels of a high stat <laughs> might be a bad thing for you. That's uh -huh, a good point. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I love I love it. Whatever games do that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we will. When we pick this game back up, we will do an introduction to Kenya. I will let you know. Mm -hmm. I will remind you of the notes. You, you can see them on Miro as well, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hammer left behind his own notes on the people he talked to in Kenya. Uh, and you also have some notes on who Carlisle was involved with and on the, uh, the connection to the Juju house who uh, in New York... They were importing stuff from Kenya, so you know who they were getting it from. Yep, and where was uh, the bloody ton at again? That's here. That was here? Yep. Alright. Uh, we should probably avoid them at all. We'll see. We might let Victor actually go ham on these guys, because these are the guys who actually kill Hammer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the people who specifically did it were in New York, and Yins killed yeah, them. Yeah, we've that already night. killed them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that got taken care of that night, but somebody yeah. had to tell them to do it. <laughs> we're expanding our range of revenge. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Anybody, anybody that is like, hey, yeah, this is a cool concept, we just beat them in an alley. <laughs> Batman style. Okay, here's, here's a fun question. Who currently has the highest amount of sanity? <laughs> oh, that's a fun one. And who is currently um, the lowest sanity? I currently uh, have 75. I, I am 53 out of 76. I am at 86 out of 89. So I'm currently the most sane person. Mm -hmm. Not <laughs> counting the people who are not here or are secondary. <laughs> and yeah. And, and and now I have a better idea of how I'm going to run low sanity, Connor. Uh, I think Jean uh, the, is actually the lowest sanity, but that makes sense. Oh yeah, Jean Jean got yeah. messed up. <laughs> Jean got real messed up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He and might be a liability. I mean, he was already <laughs> a mean, cultist when you met him. Yeah. yeah. Like I. I have a lower maximum sanity than him, mm -hmm. but he still got, like, destroyed by the negatives. Like, if we're talking about percentage of total sanity capacity, he's acting the most out of character. Uh... Oh, should I develop the skills of Jean and Theodore real quick? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, uh, I mean, Jean only has psychology to increase, and Theodore's got his other I am stuff. Trying to figure out what I want to put my other four in. Hey, Jean, Jean got some psychology. Let's recover some of his luck. Nice. Not bad. Hey, all right, and Theodore tied. Would you put your first four points into uh, Terry? Into stealth. I okay. turned it from a 28 to uh, a 32. I will run Fluffy by on leveling up Theodore's stuff. I'll worry okay. about leveling up Jean's stuff. Okay. Uh, but we gotta develop Theodore's skills now. Um... I would probably put those four into either archaeology or psychology, honestly, because both, of like characters. Both of those, and, and both of those will continue to be very useful. Mm-hmm. 
Ah. I could, funny enough, turn my uh my psychology from a sixty-five to a sixty-nine. <laughs> Make nice. it the funny number. I will now have two funny numbers on my sheet. Yeah. How'd you get a four twenty? <laughs> I should say I have two of the same funny number on my sheet. I don't have not why that Why is me clicking develop on Theodore not increasing? You might not have control I'd... of them anymore. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's alright. We can have Travis level him and Victor up next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll look at Jean's real quick and see what I can increase up on him. Uh, uh, I suppose we could do Luna as well. <laughs> I don't think Lu I don't think Luna increased in any skill. No. No, but we never gave Luna luck. We should do that. <laughs> we should give Luna luck. And also we don't, Luna We shouldn't need Luna. to give Luna luck. She should always be at max. She's a cat. <laughs> I, I I will say poor Luna, uh her poor sanity. Mm -hmm. Why is it so low? Well, because it starts at the same level as your pal. And she's not like um... magically inclined. Because yeah. because she's a cat, Joey. Have you ever encountered I've... a cat before? Have you ever seen how cats work? <laughs> yeah, I've seen how cats look at the world. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm thinking of increasing Jean's brawl and. Seems likely. Yeah, it, it fits him. What would be the other thing we thought would be good with? Dodge. Disguise? <laughs> Disguise or dodge. Man right. ran real fast. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, his disguise is a five. You didn't actually control uh, Luna, but why don't you roll up her luck for her? It's going to be 3d6. <gasps> Seventy-four brawl and twenty-nine. So she starts out brawl. with fifty-five. Okay. Yeah, brawl and brawl and dodge, Rajon. Nice. I I still think it's very funny that Birdie has a better size than than Jean the beefcake. <laughs> Because she is built like a shit brick house. <laughs> <laughs> Not a brick shit house, um, a shit brick house. Theodore and Connor have the same amount of hit points. And mm -hmm. then James has like two more hit points than both of them. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like how like flimsy Connor was. Like at like now that I understand the game a little bit better, I really appreciate that the the random stats that I rolled for Connor makes him like very flimsy but like but like you know I don't know it makes him he is a it, like he is a delicate nerd who refuses to embrace it yeah <laughs> yeah like I kind of like that about him like, it's he, nice it's a good character trait he he would be a, he would have been a really good like student and probably have went into an interesting field if he like didn't get pulled into crime and he would probably have been a very different person. But mm -hmm. no, he's the crazy Irishman now. I don't, I like it. Uh, it's fun. You have the highest int in the group. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. only by five. I'm the next one. Which I should start leaning into that <laughs> a little bit more, that he's actually smart. It could be, yeah, so as, as his sanity goes down, he might start embracing aspects of himself that he never acknowledged before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, um... He yeah, starts saying, like, more and more smarter things that actually catches James by surprise. <laughs> like, um... Like, Wait, why didn't I not think of that? That's actually a good idea. 
like the the big thing with Connor is it's funny that he's uh, like the highest int, but one of the lowest uh, educations. Mm -hmm. So like he's smart as hell. It's just it doesn't show unless it's like. A way of like solving it through lo like a logic puzzle, or like you're not fixing... book smart. Yeah, I just, I just realized. Hold on, wait a second. And uh, you're, you're not sixty and sixty. I was about education. to say, you, you, <laughs> you have birdie at sixty for both education and in. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have uh, Victor, who's at an eighty-five. For uh, his intelligence, but he's also at a 65 for his education. Uh, and both Connor and Theodore are at 70 for education. Theodore's at an 80, that's not bad. Birdie is, in fact, the dumbest. Hold on, group. hold on, I know who's the dumbest in our group. John? <laughs> 5545 Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm only the second dumbest. <laughs> yeah, Jean, Jean is the unfortunate one. It's all I was right. about to say, I don't, you don't you dare say anything bad about it. You don't need to be smart to use a gun. You don't need don't, to be like, smart to use a gun. <laughs> I was about to say, don't you dare say anything bad about Luna. She's doing her best. <laughs> Luna has zero in education, so come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, she doesn't need an education. You. I'm going to take us off the air now. Probably should have done oh, it a yeah, while yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.